welcome back in this video i will explain the concept of single linkage agglometric clustering algorithm with the help of simple solid example so here we need to apply single linkage hierarchical clustering algorithm and euclidean distance to the given data set to draw the dendrogram here we need to calculate the pairwise distance between the data points by using the Euclidean distance formula. Here we will consider the data points P1 with the values x1, x2 and the Q with the values x2, y2. So Euclidean distance between the data points P and Q which is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. So here we have the data points and here we have the Euclidean distance formula. Next we need to find the distance between the data points. First we will consider the data points 1 and 1 means uh, P is 1, Q is 1. So distance between the data points 1 and 1 is 0. Next we will consider the data points 1 and 2. So that uh, here uh, x2 is 1, x1 is 1. So uh, 1 minus 1 is 0 plus y2 is 2, y1 is 4. 2 minus 4 is minus 2, minus 2 square is 4, so square root of 4 is 2. Next, we will consider the data points 1 and 3, so that uh, x2 is 0, x1 is 1, 0 minus 1 is 1, 1 square which is equal to 1, plus 4 minus 4 is 0, so square root of 1 is 1, that is what we can see here. Similarly, we will find the distance between the remaining data points. So once you find the distance between the all the data points, next we need to consider the initial clusters. In the initial clusters, we will consider each data points as its own clusters. So that here we have 5 data points, so we will get the 5 clusters. Those are C1, C2, C3, C4 and C5. So after considering the initial clusters, next we need to find the minimum distance among all the data points. The minimum distance is 1 which is between the data points 1 and 3. So that we need to merge the clusters C1 and C2. So once you merge the clusters, we get the new cluster as C13 and we get the new clusters as C13, C2, C4 and C5. After that, we need to recompute the distance using the single linkage between the clusters C13 to C2, C13 to C4 and C13 to C5. In the single linkage agglometric clustering, distance between the clusters is nothing but a minimum distance between the data points in clusters. So we will find the distance from C13. First we will consider the cluster C13 and C2. So which is equal to minimum distance between the data points 1 to 2 and 3 to 2. So here the distance between 1 to 2 is 2. And distance between the data point uh, 3 to 2 is 2.24 among these two values minimum value is 2 so that the distance between the cluster c13 and c2 is 2. Similarly we will find the distance between the cluster c13 and c4 which is equal to 5.83 and distance between the cluster c13 and c5 which is equal to 7.24. So once you find the distance from the C13, next we need to update this table with the new distances from C13. So once you update the table, next we need to find the minimum distance here. The minimum distance is 1.41 which is between the cluster C4 and C5. So here also we need to merge the cluster that is C4 and C5. So we will get the new cluster as C45 and we will get the new clusters as C13, C2 and C45. So after that we need to recompute the distance using the single linkage between the clusters C13 to C2, C13 to C45. As you know already uh, the distance between the clusters in the single linkage is minimum distance between the points in a clusters. So first we will consider the cluster C13 and C2 which is equal to minimum distance between the data point 1, 2, 2 and 3, 2, 2. So which is equal to 2. And we will consider the next cluster that is a C13 to C45 which is equal to minimum distance between the data points uh, 1 to 4, 1 to 5, 3 to 4 and 3 to 5. Among all these values the minimum value is 5.83 so that the distance between the cluster C13 and C45 is 5.83. So once you find the distances again we need to update this table with a new distance. So next we will find the distance between the clusters C2 and C45 which is equal to 
so once you find the distances next we need to update this table with the new distances and after updating again we need to find the minimum distance among all the distances which is equal to 2 and this 2 is in between the cluster c13 and c2 so that we need to merge these two clusters so we will get the new cluster as a c132 so new clusters as a c312 and c45 so after that we need to recompute the distance using single linkage uh, between the clusters c132 c45 so as we already know that in the single linkage uh, distance between the clusters is nothing but a minimum distance between the points in the clusters so here we will consider the distance between the clusters c132 and c45 which is equal to minimum distance between the data points uh, 1 to 4 1 to 5 3 to 4 3 to 5 and uh, 2 to 4 2 to 5 among all these distances we will get the minimum distance as 5.1 so that distance between the clusters c132 c45 is 5.10 so again we need to update the table so finally we need to merge the cluster uh, c132 and c45 so we'll get the final merge with the distance 5.10 is c13245 after that we need to draw the dendrogram first we will merge the cluster c1 and c3 with the merging cost 1 after that we will merge a cluster c4 and c5 with a merging cost 1.41 then we will merge a cluster c13 to c2 with a merging cost 2 finally we merge the cluster c132 with a cluster c45 with a merging cost 5.1 this is how we can calculate the distances and uh, dendrogram i hope the concept of single linkage agglometric clustering algorithm is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching